Okay, at the beginning, let us check the smartphones. Vivo iQOO 7 comes with Snapdragon 870 and yes, Realme GT Master Explorer Edition also comes with the same Snapdragon 870 SoC. Let's put these smartphones aside and check what else we get inside the boxes of these smartphones. Vivo iQOO 7 offers a set of stickers inside the box. There is a TPU silicon protective case. Anyway, underneath that, there is a 66 watt Vivo flash charge, very fast charger. Also, there is a USB A to USB C charging cable. Realme GT Master Explorer Edition also comes with manual and warranty paper, but the protective case provided inside the box is truly premium. It looks good, in hand it feels good, and altogether, this brings that flagship type feelings. There is a 65 watt Super Dirt Charger. Yeah, this one is almost the same thing as Superhook 2.0 and there is a USB A to USB C charging cable. Once again, here is all that you will get inside the box of these smartphones. On the left, yeah, that's Realme GT Master Explorer Edition and I love this design. They call it leather. I have used Oppo Find X2 Pro, Vivo X60 Pro Plus and all these actually don't feel like leather but definitely have these amazing in-hand feelings. It looks premium, it feels premium and overall it brings that flagship class feelings. Vivo iQOO 7 got glass back and yeah, matte finish. That means no fingerprint or smudge at the back. This is really a better solution for those who hate glossy smartphones. Build quality of these smartphones are really good. But Realme has taken extra care. Everything on this GT Master Explorer Edition is precisely designed and well implemented. Beside this Realme GT Master Explorer Edition, Vivo iQ7 looks a bit ordinary. That rear camera block, rear camera design and all the elements on Realme GT Master Explorer Edition is better looking. Actually, there is a distinctive difference in outlook and appearance. Even if Vivo iQ7 is a gaming-centric smartphone, it doesn't have any fancy design or any fancy cutouts or any LED lights at the back. This one reminds me a word, simplicity. On top, there is nothing but a noise cancellation microphone. Yeah. You can see antenna bands on Realme. At the bottom, everything looks similar. Speaker grill, USB-C port, primary microphone, dual SIM SIM tray, and again, antenna band on Realme. Volume rockers of Realme is on the left, power button is on the right. Vivo iQOO 7 got both power button and volume rockers on the right. I have done a separate camera comparison video between these two smartphones. I recommend you watch that, but briefly, Realme GT Master Explorer Edition is better in camera performance. Not a bit better, actually camera performance of Realme GT Master Explorer Edition is quite good. Both of these two have OIS on the main sensor. Vivo iQ7 comes with a Sony IMX598 48MP sensor, while Realme GT Master Explorer Edition got 50MP Sony IMX766 as its main sensor. Both have face unlock feature and face unlock on both of these two smartphones works fast, very smooth. I haven't noticed any issues. In display fingerprint sensor of these two smartphones are also similar but Realme GT Master Explorer Edition is really faster than any other smartphones in its class. 6.55 inch Super AMOLED on Realme GT Master Explorer Edition. Yeah, it's a curved panel, supports 120Hz refresh rate, while Vivo iQ7 comes with a 6.62-inch flat AMOLED, also offers 120Hz refresh rate, and interestingly, this one is brighter than Realme. 1300 nits versus 1100 nits on Realme GT Master Explorer Edition. Almost all other settings are the same, but Realme has this extra O1 Vision engine which can sharpen or enhance colors of videos. I will leave this to you. Watch this carefully and let me know which one do you think is better. Personally, I prefer Curved Edge and Realme GT Master Explorer Edition actually has more vibrant output.
time to check the speakers. Both have stereo speaker setup. One dedicated bottom firing speaker and the other one is the earpiece of the smartphone. Once again, Realme has better tuned the speakers, it offers more clarity without any distortion, while Vivo IQ7 stereo speaker setup can go a bit louder than Realme GT Master Explorer Edition. Time for CPU throttling test, at the beginning let me show you, there is nothing running at the background. Ok, I have selected 15 threads, which is good to check the performance of Snapdragon 870 and I will run this for 10 minutes. Let's see which one has better thermal management. Wow, you can clearly see Vivo IQ7 has performed better. It has very stable performance, while Realme GT Master Explorer Edition performance is not that stable and it has never managed to get to the peak. So if you are planning to buy a smartphone for gaming, then definitely Vivo IQ7 will provide you better in-game experience. Ok, talking about gaming rather than playing games and showing you what I am playing, I will run 3DMark the gamers benchmark. I am running wildlife stress test and if you want to know your current smartphone's gaming capabilities, then you can download and run this test. This one is not like Antutu, this one offers a lot of information and most importantly, provides correct and precise information. Well, both of these two smartphones performed very well. Despite the hiccup in CPU throttling test, Realme GT Master Explorer Edition fought neck and neck with this Vivo IQ7, which is known as a gaming smartphone and that means you definitely can play games on Realme GT Master Explorer Edition. Well, all the smartphones in Realme GT series got this GT mood while all the smartphones in Vivo IQ series comes with monster mode. Let's run Antutu benchmark in this GT and monster mode. Let's see what type of score these two smartphones can get. Well, here you can see after the first run, both got the similar 713,000. But what happens if we back to back run Antutu benchmark on these devices? Remember, both the time GT and monster mode were enabled. Well, Realme GT Explorer Edition score got a hit. From 713,000, it dropped to 701,000. While Vivo IQ7 almost got the same score as the first time. It's 710,000. Well, a lot depends on your personal preference, like what you want from your smartphone. If you want better gaming performance, then you should go with Vivo IQ7. If you want better camera performance, then once again you should go with Realme GT Master Explorer Edition. But a few things I must mention, like Realme GT Master Explorer Edition, haptic feedback of this smartphone is really not that good. This is the weakest among any smartphones within its price range. Also, due to its rare design, it will be very difficult to get a good protective case for this smartphone. Other than that, this one is a great smartphone. On the other hand, if you need raw power, if you need something cheaper, then of course Vivo IQ7 is a very good choice. A lot depends on you. Please make a comment in the comment section below and let me know which one would you choose. And if you have any other video request with these two smartphones, then please let me know in the comment section below. Well, it's time to wrap up. But if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel.